What's going on, man? It's your boy E to the E. We're in here off that brown bottle. We call it the H to the Y, man. The Hennessy, man. We feeling good up in here, my boy Allen. The next level is his the next level, you know what I'm saying? We might even get on these mixer boards real quick. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But anyways, Hayward, I see you. I'm from North Hayward, but got love for all sides, man. We all sit on my couch. My boy Russell City, I see you. Bomb Squad, all Bomb Squad, I see you. We doing our thing, man. You know what I'm saying? Find me at your boy Stream on Twitter, Facebook, Facebook.com, Extreme.hwd. And Haystack dropping January 24th, iTunes, Amazon, all the local stores. Check your boy out, man. I'm coming hard. Let's do it. Salute to y'all. Man, it's your boy Stream, man, representing that HWD. Hey. What's going on, man? We need just having fun, you know what I'm saying? Hey. Sipping a little something, something, enjoying this yeah. Sunday in a Raiders Some Red victory. Bull. I see y'all Niners, though, but yeah. it's Raiders, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's good though. We got nothing but love for the Yay area, man. Just keep it pushing. Uh, so, so, uh, so, extreme. How did you get your name, Extreme? Man, to, to keep it honest, yeah. I, I started back when I started writing poetry back when I was eleven. Oh, real? You no, know, saying just poetry, no beats, no nothing. Yeah. And then I, I started seeing the whole DJ scene. Yeah, yeah. So, so a lot of people don't know this. I used to go by DJ Extreme. Oh, okay. So people, <laughs> there's still some heads that still call me DJ Extreme. Yeah, so yeah, if yeah. Anybody listening right now. And y'all know me as that. They're, they're laughing right now. They remember those days. And then I, I decided to turn the poetry into some, some rapping, you know, start making yeah. beats and all that. And then uh, we used to DJ house parties and the whole thing. And I got tired of playing other people's songs. Yeah. You know, even though I love them. I love yeah, the whole yeah. music thing. But yeah, I'm yeah. thinking, I want to play my own songs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I decided, you know, let's put these records. That was when turntables were still around. Yeah, you know yeah. Now it's different. And when I first started recording, I had the mic hanging from the garage with the cord, the SM58 mic, okay. old school, okay. taping on a cassette tape. <laughs> so my first six songs was on a real cassette tape. You know, a lot of artists these days can't say that. They no, started no, late no. in it. But e either way, whenever you start, you're still starting. We're all doing it for the same yes. reason. But I'm just saying, for me, that's when I started. And then I got tired of the whole rec, the, the, the DJ thing. I got tired of unhooking my equipment. Yeah, going yeah. to somebody's house, getting soda spilt on it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> for so, real. So I decided, you know, I want to I want to see me on stage like these guys are doing. Yeah, yeah, So for I self. decided to turn the poetry more into what I was living, my everyday life. That's what's up. So then I started making beats on Fruity Loops 2. 2? This was back then on Fruity Loops 2. All I, had, all I knew how to do was to kick the snare and a hi-hat. The beats were so, <laughs> so whack. As long as I could spit the poetry, yeah, it was cool. Now, how long have you been doing this for? Well, start. I started taking the rap serious. I actually, a lot of people don't know this either. I almost joined the military. Wow. And it was like a like a Y in the road. It was like, you're going to go this way, you're going to go this way. Yeah. So I said, you know what? I got too much passion for this. And the way the military looking right now, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and turn to the left. So I took the music scene, yeah, and now I'm in it to the end. That's so what's up. I, I tell tell the people in the beginning, I'm in it to the end. Join the bandwagon. Yes. Just keep it real. How Man. many projects you got out? I only got two. You got two projects. What's the name two, of those? Two, two, technically pressed up. So 25 hours a day was technically my first album, even though yeah. I had little, you know, I had the Sharpie CDs flooding yeah, the street before that. You gotta start that. somewhere. But the first pressed up one was 25 hours a day. The name of it? Yeah. Okay. And I, I had. Every, at that time, I put everybody on it that I was really messing with and believed in, the people who believed in me. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I, I owe the Gorilla Pits a lot. They yeah. They out for me. Shout Mr. Fab was on there. Pits. Surf Talk, San Quinn, yeah. my girl Selena Marie. She'll be singing too. She's coming out of Hayward. She got a lot of stuff coming. Mm. And so that CD, to me, when I look back on it, it shows a lot of who my real family was at that time. Yeah, yeah. And those are the ones I'll never forget. That's what's up. And then I talked to Mr. Fab about a project and I said, let's do a CD. So then we dropped a CD called Authors of Reality in Woo! 2010 in May. Yeah. And that had a, um, that was all exclusive beats though. It was a mixtape, but it was like an album. Okay. You know, so if you guys don't have that, follow me on Twitter, get it for free. Yeah, for Your boy free, stream, wow. Just like spelled E-X-T-R-E-M-E. -E, yeah. Y-A-B-O-Y. So you get it free on there. And, uh, but I had a few CDs before that and it just, I became a passion. Yeah. Just, this is me. That's what I want to do. What is your most memorable moment in your career? Give me the top two. Uh, <laughs> off top, first one I could think of yeah. was probably when I did my first battle. Ba oh, my oh. first battle. Because I don't really... Right. I used to freestyle back in the day, but I don't do okay. it no more. I mean, yeah, I will. Yeah, yeah. I, if I'm put on it, I'm going to. You know what but mean? Back in, it was my first freestyle. It was me against actually six dudes. You against six yeah, dudes? Yeah. Wow. And it was it was a diverse group. And I was like, this is going to be either really hard or really easy. Wow. And this is when Club Mangoes, a.k.a. 510, used to be cracking in uh, Fremont. Okay. So we, we did it out there, and I ended up rocking. They had a live band doing it. And so to me, that was just a full feel, just to see 
it was like a club scene, you but no club. Six people at a time. Yeah. How did it go down? Like, what you went, then they went. Yeah, and then it was then... one, one, and one. So I was really battling six people. Wow. So and that's dope. Ended up rocking it, and then um, that's actually Fab was at that show. Oh, okay, that's what's up. Yeah, so that's that's when Fab started saying, "Okay, you know, extreme, that's my boy." Okay, okay. Then, you know. And, <laughs> what's up? And then uh, <coughs> my second one, I probably got to give a shout out to Andre Nicotine. Cause oh, for sure. That that is. If you guys haven't met him or had a talk with him, I suggest you do. If you're an artist, meet up with that guy, sit down with him, because that guy will put you up on game. What, what did you? What what, what 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 kind of uh, tips did you get from him? I mean, I wish I could have recorded it. To be honest, okay. <laughs> he, he sits down and he he will tell you. He will put you in like, okay, this is where you're at. This is where you could be. This is what yeah. you got. This is what you could have. Yeah, you know I'm saying this is what you're gonna have. This wow. is what you could have had. And he would just break the whole scenery down for you. Kind of lace you up. Yeah, yeah. That's what's up. So, um, so he get his work ethics was really um, excellent, yeah, yeah. and you got to learn from him. Yeah. That's great as well. Um, your uh, what's going? What you got going on right now? Right now, I got Needle in the Haystack, which Needle is dropping in, in Rasputin's Amazon and iTunes on January twenty okay. fourth. I've been the way I look at it. It's been a, it's been a whole year coming. I didn't yeah. drop an album or a mixtape or a compilation in two thousand eleven, but I look at it like this. Instead of looking, instead of making five hot songs a week, or yeah. I mean, instead of making five okay songs a week, I'd rather make one hot one a week. Yeah, for sure, for you know sure. Yeah, that's, so, that's so how if you leave the people be. waiting, yeah, at least they're getting quality. Instead if, of if you're rushing yourself trying to do twenty songs a week, I mean, unless you're super dope. Yeah. But for me personally, I'd rather take forty hundred hot sixteen verses and compile them all into, into one song. Make it. Which is gonna make that the one. Yeah, the one. Now, if you do that all year long, guess what? You'd be straight. 16, 18, 20 hot tracks for one CD. Yeah. So Neil and Haystag is a compilation. We got a bunch who, of bad cats on it. Who's going to be on it? It starts anywhere from, like I said, <laughs> Grilla Piz, The Dragons is my folks, Turf Talk, Quinn, Clyde Carson, the Nicotina 40 song you just played. Okay. Okay. Um, That's we got up, Shady Nate on, on there, Eddie Projects. I mean, it just, it goes on and on. Wow. So, so who haven't you worked with that you want to work with? I mean, Top three. I pretty much made that happen already. Uh, like Bay Area wise. Worldwide. Now, 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 worldwide. Now let's go take it to the, uh, yeah. I might as well tell you my favorite artist is Ludacris. My Luda. favorite rapper is Luda. Okay. That's, 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 my, that's my favorite guy. Yeah. And my favorite group is Outkast. Outkast, yeah. They so, got some stuff. I haven't met any of them one day. Like, I want to shake Big Boy's hand. I want to yeah. shake Luda's hand. I want to <laughs> shake uh, Andre the Thousand's hand. Yeah. Uh, when Luda <laughs> came right here to Cal State. Yeah. I got so close to the stage, and, and my boy had to leave early. Oh. He was my ride, and that day was freezing. Oh. So we had to just we had to shake early. Almost. Yeah, but his security was so deep, I wouldn't have made it. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Give me two more albums. Um, but he's coming, though. Yep, yep. He's coming. Okay, so the future for Extreme. It's Which, a big future, man. What? Well, like, give future. us like a. Can I'm we not stopping. You're not <laughs> stopping. Can after we got after more the projects? after the compilation, I'm doing a free internet mixtape, mm -hmm. Dreaming Under the Influence. That one's more of a just features of. People I mess with closely, Hayward cats. Yeah, the stack. Know, the, 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 the the underdogs. Yeah. The next generation. But see, Hayward is like uh, 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 upcoming. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like our city hasn't shined. Yeah, I, uh, since Spice. Yeah. You know what I mean? But but, but Spice but, was never really. Yeah. Hayward, Hayward, banging, Hayward. Banging, banging. Like, you know what I mean? We're gonna rip our city. But the stack. Yeah. So so um so uh the contacts. Let's get out your contacts out there. Your, your you know your links, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Well, I barely made a Facebook. I always said I never make one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But then I started learning. Okay, some of my some of my folks got Facebook that don't have Twitter. Yeah. Some of my folks got Twitter that don't have Facebook. I said, all right, I gotta do it. Yeah, you gotta do so it. So it's the facebook.com slash extreme e x t r e m e dot h w d dot h w d. And then uh, my my Twitter is your boy extreme, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna be changing that to extreme h w d also so they match. Okay, most definitely. We'll go, so. we'll go back to the original. Yeah, okay, most definitely. So, shout so. out to Tone Bone, man. Yeah. You're the reason I got a Twitter, boy. <laughs> <laughs> so shout out to the pits as well, San Leandro, my squad, uh, extreme. So uh, shout outs. You got any shout outs out there for anybody, man? Just just my the, the dudes be making my beats tracks F D R. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, Gorilla Pits, Dragons, mm -hmm. they come a long way with me too. I like. I owe them a lot. Yeah. Turf Talk, Fab, those guys, and can't forget my boy Nup. Nup Trump. Always look out for me. That's my that's my folks. <laughs> but Mo Green, Codeezy, they be on the beats. Yeah, for sure. And Rob E got a few joints on Neil and Haystack also. Yeah. So I mean, my team is strong. Is it almost? Is it already finished the project? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's getting mixed and mastered. Oh, it's already getting mixed and mastered, yeah. so it's already uh, yeah. done. Yeah. Okay, so what is there a release date? That's for why this? I said if I had the mastered version, I would have brought you some more. It's good. Though. They don't even know. I got it's Spice One on the joint. Also. Oh, shout out to Spice yeah, though. We got Spice so one. so uh, 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 can't uh, drop a Haystack CD without Spice. Oh, you can't. You know what I mean? That's like the pave the way. Shout out to Stack Life for making that happen too, man. That's yeah. my folks right there, South Hayward. Yeah. So like I said, man, it's me, E40, Andre Nicotina, 
I'm the first one to make this pair happen. So it's called Just Like Batch.